guys, Stephanie Denman here from Denman Homestead, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of an experiment, something I've not done before. Um, Papa gave me, a while back, a bread machine that he had, um, but it had like a crack in it, and so he, if you know Papa at all, he doesn't really get rid of anything. So he said, do you want this? I think it'll still work. And I said, yeah, I'll take it, and then I put it in my pantry and I forgot I even had it. Yesterday, I was cleaning out my pantry, getting ready for school to start again, just doing a deep clean, and I pulled out that bread maker, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a bread maker um, bread. Let me show it to you real quick. So it looks like this. I cleaned it up quite a bit because I guess it was in his storage. But it's an Amazon Basics bread maker. And it has a crack right here where the hinge is, but I think it'll still work. I don't think it's going to like, I mean, it opens and closes and everything fine. I don't think it's going to really mess up anything. But I was intrigued because when I pulled this bread maker out, I was getting to look at it and it has so many different settings like sweet bread, gluten-free bread, dough, kneading, cake, express, jam, yogurt, bake, and homemade. I'm really curious. But the thing about it is, is that it didn't come with any instructions at all. It just had the loaf pan inside, and that was it. So I did a quick Google search on a, um, a top-rated bread maker machine bread. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go off of that one, use that bread maker recipe. But I'm also going to be making my own sandwich bread recipe that I've used in the past and that I love. And then I want to compare the two. So I want to compare the sandwich bread that I make versus the sandwich bread in the bread maker machine and just kind of give you the rundown on how easy, how quick, how simple or whatever. I'll give you the pros and cons of each way that I'm going to do them. And then, um, yeah, we can, we can go over that. So first let's do the bread maker, um, way. Let's do the, let's get some of this out of the way and we will <clears throat> get that started. So this bread maker, you can do up to a two pound loaf. So that's the recipe that I'm going to be using. It's, it's a two pound loaf recipe. And you basically just add in all of the ingredients at once to this one loaf pan. And online it said you should do it in a specific order. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna just follow this online recipe and pop it in the bread machine, get that going. And then once that's good and going, we'll start on my loaf recipe here. So. Let's start. The bread machine. We're going to need one and one third cups of water. Let me get that. Okay, one and one third cups of water. And you're supposed to add it in in this order. And they recommended having your water like a little warm, like around 110 degrees. So I just did it a little bit more than lukewarm. So we got 100 or We've got our one and one third cups of water. Now we need three tablespoons of oil. It didn't really say online what kind of oil, so I'm gonna use veg or, um, olive oil. Now we need one and a half teaspoons of salt. Two tablespoons of sugar.
and four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And last but not least, we need two teaspoons of instant yeast. And I've got this uh, bread machine instant yeast rapid rice, so we're going to use this one. I believe I've got this layered all correctly and I'm going to put this inside the bread machine and try to figure out the instructions. Okay, so as soon as I plug this in, it turned on with a blue light. It, there was a, a blue light in the background. It's kind of dimmed down already, but it automatically was at two pounds right here. Um, medium, I guess it's a medium loaf, like a crust. And I'm assuming this means it's going to take three hours. If I press color, oh, I see. It turns it light, medium, or dark. Let's stick with medium. Um, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it like that because I think that's exactly what I want anyway. So I'm going to lift this lid up. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. And I guess this just goes down. Oh, it kind of like locks in place, I think. Feels pretty secure in there. I don't know if this matters which way the handle is. Oh. It's doing something in there. flashlight. This is so silly. Guys, can you see? There's like a little paddle inside that's like turning everything. That's so cool. It's not that loud. I wonder how long it's going to do that for. Hope you guys can hear me because in hindsight, had I known I would have done the bread machine second because it's kind of loud. Well, not it's not loud in general, but like to film it might be a little, you might hear a humming noise in the background, maybe a little bit of knocking going on because it's just kneading that ball of dough inside, which is so cool. I don't know. I'm, I'm like fascinated right now. It's my, it's my first time ever using a bread machine. Maybe it's life changing for me. Who knows? So next recipe is my sandwich bread recipe that I've used in the past and it's been a good one. So we're going to do that one today. And it'll be in this loaf pan. I'm not going to use it right now. I just want to show you what I'll be using uh, for this bread recipe. It's this loaf pan here. So this is going to be, we're going to start the dough here. Uh, three cups all-purpose flour. One and a half teaspoons of instant yeast. I'm going to use the same yeast that I used uh, for the bread machine. Because it's instant yeast. Warm 
and I'm going to stir this to combine. you over here in a second so you can see the consistency of this dough and what it's going to look like once it's all mixed. The nice thing about this dough is that there's no kneading, there's no proofing of the yeast or blooming of the yeast anyway. You just kind of mix it and combine it all. what our dough's looking like. It's tacky, it's sticky, um, it's definitely not like a firm ball dough by any means. And this is exactly what we're looking for, just kind of a wet shaggy dough. I'm going to scrape down the sides just a bit and then that's it. We're going to let it sit and I'm going to cover it and let it rise for two hours. kitchen hand towels or a tea towel, uh, just a little wet because I don't want my dough to dry out too much. I just dampened it a little under the sink and I'm just going to drape it over top and let this sit over here in the kitchen and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, we're back. It's been a little bit over two hours, got a little sidetracked, but that's okay. Um, the time left on our bread maker says a little bit more than 32 minutes. So this is going to, the bread maker is going to be a quicker result than this one is because we're going to take this out of the bowl, which it's risen quite nicely. Show you there. It's got some nice air pockets. We're going to take this out of here and then we're going to need to let it rise again in my buttered, I went ahead and buttered the sides and all around of my loaf pan. So, um... I'm just going to take some forks here and kind of just pull it away from the bowl, the sides of it, and just kind of bring it to the center. start to do is we're going to start to just kind of try to shape it here in a second. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil down on top of this loaf and we want to basically it's going to be really sticky but we're going to um, put just a touch of olive oil down and gather it up and just kind of fold it in on itself a little bit. Gather it up. Kind of make a, a loaf shape and then we're about to plop it down in this bread pan. I'm just basically turning it kind of on itself. I'm 
just going to take this here and lay it down in here. Let me wash my hands and I'll show you what we're, look, what we're uh, working with. So here's our dough in our pan here. And I'm going to cover it again. And I'm just going to set it on the stove in a warm place and let it rise. And I really want it to rise at least to the top of the pan uh, or higher. That would be fine too. And then we will stick it in the oven. Okay. I had my oven preheating at 375 while I was waiting on my bread to rise and I can tell just by looking on the outside that it's poofed up quite a bit. So we're ready to put this in the oven and we're going to put it in at 375 for 45 minutes. Okay, the timer just went off for the oven and I have not taken the bread out of the bread maker. I just unplugged it from the wall and let it sit while my bread was baking. So I'm going to pull it out now. smells so good in this house. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let that sit there for a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out. Okay. It's still very warm, which is nice to know. So if you like start that in the evening time or overnight or something, I don't know, maybe it'll just be nice and warm for you when you wake up. Um, so I'm going to try to get this one out while I wait on this one to cool off. As far as mess is concerned, it's really not that messy. A little bit of flour um, is in the top of this lid, I guess just from the rise, it like hits the top of the lid. So there's a little bit of flour to wipe up, but there's really not a whole lot of mess. Kind of exciting. It's definitely hot, so just be careful. I'm not entirely sure how to get it out. I'm just gonna shake it. Oh wow, okay. Wow, it's steaming. Oh man. indent at the bottom where the hook is in the pan, but that's not a big deal. Oh, I want to cut it open so bad. Okay, let me just um, see if I can't plop this one out real quick. Okay, so on appearances alone, um, I don't know. So the one that I baked has more, I think, of a traditional loaf size. I'm not 100% sure. This one's just more, I don't know, bulkier? Definitely, I feel like a larger, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let the I'm gonna try to let this sit for like at least five minutes before I cut into them. If, if I can make it that long. So give me five minutes. Please can I cut the bread? I want to cut the bread. Okay, now I have my tiny little taste testers here. Connor. Mm -hmm. You know you mm -hmm. I'm gonna tiny out. Okay. So technically speaking, some people Maybe suggest what? that you wait until it's completely cold to cut into your bread for a few reasons. Like taste development, gluten, blah, blah, blah. I yeah. can't wait. So, what you say? 
I baked two loaves of bread, and I want you both to try it, okay? And tell me which one you think is better. All right. All right, so I'm just gonna, oh, let me see if I can get this better in here. Get it better. That means I can cut the bread right. No, sir. <laughs> Take a look at the inside on this one. Oh, this oh. is smooth like that. Okay, it's pretty soft, looking good. All right, let's cut good. open this one. Right here. Gosh, it's really better. I will. Mm -hmm. You've made this type of bed before. Mm hmm. Ah, yeah. Now, immediately, I can tell you that my bread has a little bit of a crispier crust to it. This one is more soft. Um, the outside is a little crispier, maybe, maybe because of the butter um, cooked in the pan. I don't, I don't know. But I'm gonna cut you guys a piece, or I'm gonna cut it in half. And then you, I'm gonna, would you like butter on yours or no butter? Just, okay. Um, no butter? No. You just want plain bread? Plain bread. All right, Alora, do you want butter on yours or plain? Hmm? Do you want butter or plain? Butter. Butter? Okay, hold on, let me butter Alora's. Although I feel like it's not gonna be like. I know that butter is really smooth like butter. <laughs> okay, Aurora wants hers buttered and Connor does not. Okay, Connor. Alright, Aurora. You try that bread first. And then we're gonna try this bread second. I scale it from one of them. Just you don't have to you can scale it if you want to, but um you know, that honking thing. We're just gonna compare the two and tell me which one you like better as like a sandwich bread. Sour bread? Yeah. Or just whichever one you like better in general. This is 10 out of 10, but not a sandwich bread. Not a sandwich bread, 10 out of 10? All right, this is like a festival now. Dad just Dad! came off the court. Hello. Hi. Daddy. Wait, we're doing taste testing. All right, taste test. Do you want to taste test a little bit of bread? Sure. <gasps> is it two different kinds? Yeah. Okay. This one the so way. there's this loaf okay. that I cooked in the bread machine. Okay. And then there's this loaf that's sandwich bread that I cooked in the loaf pan. Alright. Okay. Uh, These are the two right here? Yeah, but I made this for Laura. Oh. Wait, you made that one for me? Yeah. Because one of you have to you have to taste test them both. Wait, where's the next one? Hmm? Where's the next one? Right there. Oh. Now you have to remember which one you're tasting and tell me which one you like more. Okay. Do you have it in your mind? Don't say it out loud yet. Mm. I have it in mind. Mm. Do you want butter on yours? Sure. Okay. Bread machine? Okay, here's the bread machine. Okay. Don't say it. Tell me like on looks, appearance, taste, density. I'm not gonna have no emotion how much I did. Okay, I'm no, gonna no, no. I'm gonna butter me some bread now. Now you're going for the, the loaf pan one. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound like an apple. Kinda has a little bit of a crunch to it. I guess. Oh, you're eating the crust. Well, I can tell you this one right here absorbs way more. <laughs> that flavor. It absorbs way more butter? Mm-hmm. Mm. Great, this one. I think they're both really good. I mean, it's a very close call, but I would say the second one that I'm trying is probably a little bit better for me. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. But both good breads. 100%. Huh? Okay. Awesome. What are your thoughts, Connor? Should I show you right now? Or should I show you? Awesome. No. Hmm? Should I show you right now? Or should I show you after I'm done? You're seeing me when you talk with your mouthful. Alright, you don't have your mouthful. Which one do you like best? Is this one, is, was this the second one? Mm-hmm. It's this one or this one? So the bread machine? Or the bread machine? And the old one is that mom made. I a one out of ten. A one out of ten? Yes. Okay. And I give that a ten out of ten. The bread machine, a ten out of ten, and it's a one out of ten? Okay. And I think he means the crust. It's got like a crunch to it. Yeah. Well, my honest feedback. Hold on. The one that took a little bit longer, the one that I baked in the loaf pan, has a little bit more um, airiness to it. Like it's more spongy. Um, and the bread, the bread maker bread, although still very good, um, is a little bit more dense and not as aerated, I guess. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Would you say it's true? Mm -hmm. um, and again, they're both, they would both make great sandwiches, so I think it's a win-win. As far as prep time, uh, cleanup, and all that, the bread machine, hands down, it's like you just dump it all in there and it does it for you, all of it. And then beeps at you when it's done. So that wins in my book. For like, if I need to get, if I forgot bread at the store and I need to make something for the next day, bread machine all day long. Got a little bit extra time, I would make this one. But pros and cons to each. And I think it's a win-win overall. So which one you like most? Taste-wise, I like this one a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But they're both great. All right, well, thank you so much for hanging out with us today on our bread maker taste test. I got Buddy to try some bread. He hasn't eaten bread in a minute. Come on. Yeah. So, uh, it's been a second. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today on this episode of the bread maker versus the loaf. And we will catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.